We're talking about how vital this ride-free RT program is to many students within Sac City Unified, as well as districts that are also within city limits. About 4 million rides given out to students within these districts per year. So we know a lot of kids rely on this. Teachers know it. Parents know it. The mayor and Sac RT also acknowledge they know how vital this program is, but the city knows it has to make, make cuts with an, a looming $66 million deficit coming up on the next fiscal year budget. And the mayor says he doesn't know if the city is able to contribute another $1 million towards this program. Sac City Unified students, their parents, and their teachers teaming up Tuesday to make their voices heard by the Sacramento City Council. With the price of everything, I, I can't see this program getting cut. At the start of May, City Manager Howard Chan revealed this proposed cut to the city's upcoming budget to make back $66 million. But it's one million of those dollars at stake that has students sweating. Like a lot of like the students at our school do use it like for everyday transportation to school and back home. Sacramento Regional Transit launched its Ride Free RT program back in 2019. In its very first year, the free service transported TK to 12th grade students 1.6 million times. Today, it provides more than 4.2 million rides for kids and teens. I know it's been a huge help for a lot of teens, a lot of kids that go to school. Um, a lot of parents depend on this program right now. In an open letter Monday, Mayor Daryl Steinberg addressed the Ride Free service saying, quote, I wholeheartedly support full funding for this vital and life-changing investment in our city's youth. I believe it is a core city responsibility. But the mayor isn't certain the city can commit its entire $1 million obligation going forward. Adding, quote, I propose that this sum be divided $250,000 each between the city, RT, the Sacramento City Unified School District, and a combination of Natomas, Elk Grove, and Twin Rivers Schools districts. I'm hoping the city comes out with more money than what they're offering. I'm hoping that we can all come to an agreement and make sure that this program stays. In response to Steinberg's letter, Sac RT General Manager and CEO Henry Lee says, quote, We know that the program has increased attendance in many schools. This alone is a strong incentive to keep this vital program rolling. It is imperative that we work together to provide a sustainable revenue stream that allows us to continue the Ride Free RT program. To that end, I plan to strongly recommend that the SAC RT board allocate $250,000 to continue to support the program. And I can hear them actually wrapping up the protests here behind me. So those protesters, teachers, students, uh, civic engagement, uh, volunteers who are here in the Sacramento area about to head into city council's chambers right now where the mayor is expected to address his letter that he published yesterday, this time to city council members for the first time. And Sac RT did respond to his letter yesterday with their own, saying that they are willing to contribute another $250,000 matching the city's contribution, and they want to do so for an extended three-year period as long as the city City and local partners also match their contribution. I reached out to Sac City Unified to see what they think about this, if they're willing to put any money uh, forward. And a spokesperson got back to me saying this is something they cannot in consider until their next Board of Education meeting, which happens on June 6th. Reporting live outside of Sacramento City Hall, covering local news that matters, I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.